Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. You join us today just outside Milton Keynes. Inside Milton Keynes? Inside Milton Keynes. On the outer inner ring of Milton Keynes for some chish and fips. Moore's Fish and Chips. Now you found these on the internet, Callum. On the old Googles. On the old Googles. Uh, highly recommended. And looks one of the best. Looks good. Today we're going to find out. But before we crack on with today's video, I just wanted to put it out there. If you're watching this now and you vibe with our content and you've got a business, a product, a service, or you want to sponsor our channel, our content, a trip, whatever it might be, if you're a serious individual that, that rates us and what we're trying to achieve with this, get in touch. I want to put our email address on the screen right now. Um, please, Jesus Christ, please, uh, cars just, just full locked up into the back of, <laughs> is he okay? Right. Texting for sure. Um, if you're interested, get in touch. We've got some amazing partners and friends already. We're looking to do more, we're looking to grow, and we've got some aggressive expansion plans. We want to go further and deliver some great food to you guys at home. So if you're interested, get in touch, please. Right, Callum. Um, we haven't done fish and chips for a while. I don't remember the last one we did. I'm excited. Cod, I say. Curry sauce, chips, vinegar. Look at the door. The robot f***ing delivers fish and chips. So you can get the... We've we'll, we'll got a little robot here, let's start it. I don't start it, I don't know if you're missing a robot. Can we get, should we go and look at a close-up of this robot? Well, you can get your fish and chips delivered. Look at this. In this what, little it, man. Does it need a hand? Or is it, what, is it, is it just charging right now? Charging? I mean, it's broken. <laughs> hey. How do you get in it? It unlocks itself. It's obviously... Yeah, look, it's red lights. Right. It's, it's like finding an injured pigeon on the street. What do you do? Do you take it back to the the care home for them or what? I think you get in you trouble just, if you take that. You just leave it. You can't take it anywhere, no? Just kind of stealing. Well, there you go, people. Don't touch the Starship robots, even if it's just like an injured delivery uh, vehicle. I'm just saying, it's a bit. It's, I imagine getting your fish and chips delivered. It takes like a half an hour to get to your house. Is it heated? I, I don't know. That would be so slow getting it there, wouldn't it? Oh they're, my God. They're, they're mega slow. Do you know what? I've got a, a, a gripe. Food reviewers that take, I've seen a lot of this lately, that take the food home or to their car to review it. You've got to, if you've got an ounce of credibility, you've got to do it there and then and get and, and capture the food in its in its best form. What do you think, Alan? I mean, in the car, if you've just got it out of the things, okay. Yeah, but how are they driving anywhere? You don't but if you don't I drive anywhere, okay. I, I really think you've just got to review it there and then. Okay. Because you, 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 you're throwing too many variables into the mix. Just my opinion. Everyone does it their own way, right? Whatever, that's all good. Um, so yeah, how are you gonna get that delivered? It's just terrible. Good for your groceries maybe, but not fish and chips. Anyway, let's ask them about that. Terry, would you get fish and chips delivered in one of these? No. If it breaks down, it gets cold. If you're new here, by the way, and you think, who are these um, absolute Herberts? Speak for yourself. Matt, speak for yourself. Matt Callum, Terry. Man, like, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please do so. We're, we're creeping our way forward to 100k now. Very slowly. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. Do it all right on Facebook again. YouTube. Come on. I love you. Right. From the pictures, Callum, you think it looks half decent, but maybe not my favourite. Mm, yeah, basically. All right. But it's rated highly. Also, I'm not particularly hungry now, so that, is that going to affect the score? Possibly. It's a family-run business with over 25 years' experience. Ah, one other thing. We're getting up the tour bus. We've got it clean today. Um, it's going to go. It's going in for a full wrap. So excited. So the next time we see it. Yeah. Well, do you know? I'm not going to say who it's going to at the moment. We'll, we'll do that as a bit of a grand reveal, I should think. You'll see it hopefully on their channel as well. Um, but it's going away for like two weeks because it's a. Arguably the best of the best doing it. They strip the whole car down and um, yeah, we're going to lose the tour bus for a couple of weeks. It's going to be sad, but next time you see it, hopefully it will be fully wrapped with um, someone's and our logo on it and it's a mad design. Amazing! Four star Irish Stout as well, just a little side note, it's coming to Asda, if you haven't seen, in August. First impressions, very good. Hello there. Hello. Please come over. Do you have to get my card with cash? Card? Because I've got two switches. 
Oh, good stuff. Please, could I get a large cod, please, and chips? What's the chips for you? Regular large chips? Oh, large chips. Large chips. Vinegar. Lots of salt and vinegar, please, on the fish and the chips. And a curry sauce, if that's okay. Yeah. I want to get a can as well. Can, do a can? DC? Yeah. Right, Coke Zero, please. Coke Zero. Two in total. Three in total. Get one for Terry. <laughs> Two in total. Three in total. And that's it. That's it. So you have one large cup, one large chip with lots of sauce and vinegar, one cup of sauce, and three okay. cans of the drinks. Sounds. It'll be about five to six minutes. No, no problem at all. We'll, we'll wait out the front. Okay, that's brilliant. I'll call you when it's ready. Not sure. How much? Like Twenty pounds. Yeah. Okay. Jump, we see. Yes, Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. Did you see that? That coach. She's got two tills. One for the cash. Basically, we've got, that's got no electronic device on that. Love that. Oh, we grass them up by saying that. Yeah, basically. But no, it's okay. It's, it's, you're going to funnel the cash away. Don't put it through the electronic till, which, which is monitored, right? <laughs> that was a little tip for everyone at home who wants to start. Uh, Terry. Oh, thank you. No, that one's yours. Oh, there you right. go. Yeah. That one's yours. Thank you. thank you. We have got, lads, three different Cokes. Ooh. Which is the best? I think Diet Coke's the best. There's too what much are you sugar. On about? Too it's much sugar. That tastes like a fake one of them. At least this one knows who he is. Full. Fully leaded. Fully leaded. All the sugar. Why not? It makes you, it is good on a hot day with loads uh, of ice. Can I just say, I'm sure the other day you said this is better than DC. Nah, DC. I'm, I'm, I'm team DC now. I've... So the that rumour that came out, okay, that these the, the, the negativity about carcinogenics being in Diet Coke, right? The spartamine, you've got to drink 16 to 20 cans per day for it to have an effect. Like that is, you know, Red meat's got... Yeah, consumes. like, I actually thought with the negative press that one or two cans is going to put you into the into a hot spot with this. I've no doubt that there's probably chemicals in here that are not good for you, right? but this cancerous stuff, if you're having 20 cans a day, you, you've got an issue anyway. You've probably got other things going on in your life. You know, you're probably not allowed near schools, etc. You know. What do you think? Yeah, you're a bit weird if you're having that many yeah. cans. Drink some anyway, water. Anyway, up the DC and Coke, if you watch him, I'd love to work with you. <laughs> A few moments later. Cheers. Thank you. God, let's get the sunlight. So, early indications, batter doesn't look particularly great to me. Mm. Coming in heavy here, boys and girls. A lot of chips. Three drinks. Yeah, a lot of chips. Three drinks. Decent curry sauce. Fish. Looks all right. Uh, good size, 20 quid though. That is lovely. Uh -huh. How much are them drinks? I don't know, mate. Two pound a pop, six. What's that? Yeah, what are you six. saying, people? You've been on this journey too. What are we saying with this batter? That, um... Oh, look, I, I have asked for it to be drenched in vinegar as well. I'm taking all that into consideration, but that hasn't actually affected the way the batter is sitting on the fish, right? So after we went to KFE for our fish and chip lesson, I feel more educated in talking about the batter of what, what, what we like and what we don't like. It is crispy. It is crispy. It doesn't have those shards. It started to go here, look. Started to go there. It does look very Thick. oil heavy. You see that? That is very oily. Mm. Let's taste it and see how it feels. Okay. Okay. Oily. Yeah. It's, it is tasty, but it's it's certainly not at the top end. But let's um let's stay let's stay uh, let's stay in. The goat. Right, Callum. We've gone early into the batter there. Let's go back to basics. Chip. Yep. He's pissed. Did you see him? He's all over the place. Obviously delivering some liquor. Right. <laughs> Chips. They look nicely cooked, to be fair. We've got a bit of colour to them. Plenty of salt. Nice, irregular shapes.
That one had no salt or vinegar on it. Let's try again. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Um, very, very fluffy on the outside. Let's try the curry sauce. Oh, I've lost the chip. Good curry sauce too. Nice sweetness to that. The chips are super fluffy on the inside. A couple of them though, do look very oil heavy. Like this one here, for example. Ooh. You see that? Salt. Look, look. Interesting. And it tastes like that as well. Mm. This might be a good local chippy. I'm probably looking at this now. Let's carry on, but this might not be one I'm gonna be, you know, singing from the rooftops. Let's get to the good part, the fish. What a lovely flake. Fair's fair. That's a lovely bit of fish there. Nice flavour. Yeah, that's what the batter should be like. That's nice. So you do get some nice parts to it. A little bit lighter look, a little bit thinner. Let's try a bit of curry sauce on there, look. Fish and chip lovers, what are you saying? Come on. Mmm. Oh, wow, okay. Now the biggest telltale sign here, as to, he's going well fast. Jesus Christ. The biggest telltale sign to me here is fish and chips. If it's good, I can't stop eating it, regardless of how much food we've had during the day. We haven't done that much today, so I, I definitely, if this was electric, I'd be plowing into it. There's a couple of things, like this here, for example. Can you see that chip? It's absolutely caked in oil. It doesn't feel... Let me pick my words carefully here. I think I was expecting more. Okay. Slightly underwhelming. The fish is good, but so it should be, right? It's a natural product. It's hard, Callum, because it's shown elements of being half decent. You can see the batter there. We're being very granular on this, but I love fish and chips, right? It's important to me. It does have a nice crunch to it, but there is There is an oily factor to this. Um, fish and chips, which the best places just don't have. It isn't as clean and as crisp as I'd be hoping for, mate. See a particular, a bit inconsistent, I'm not sure what's going on. Very doughy. That batter can almost go bread-like. Interesting, ladies and gents, Moore's Fish and Chips, just outside of the inner ring of Milton Keynes. Um, slightly underwhelming, I thought that would be better. It's clean. They're two tills, they've obviously got their eye on the ball with the cash. Is this just a standard chippy? I'd say so. I've got very, very high standards with my chippies, you guys know that. We've been to some of the best. And uh, the difference between being up there and here is night and day. Different product. I don't particularly want to eat any more of this. I've had a fairly good crack at that. Curry sauce has got some nice sweetness to it, some nice warmth. The fish was good, batter, bang average, and the, the chips were, were, were okay. There were some, some good aspects to the chips, others not so much. Time for a score, bro. Where are you going to go? I'm gonna go for a um I think uh I think I'm gonna struggle to give this any more than like a, a 6-3. Okay. A 6-3 out of 10. Price point was up there, we've got a huge portion of chips, but they've put the average, you know, I'm not seeing anything of great quality today to be fair. This is I think like an average chip shop, but maybe even not. Some of the some of the other chippies we've been to have pushed on. This is 
not only rude, but it just probably wasn't where I wanted to be today. Okay. There we go. I've enjoyed today's video, Callum. You win some, you lose some. This was meant to be the best in the area. If you know where we are right now and you think you know a better one, let us know. I'd love to know where that fish and chip hidden gem was around Milton Keynes. Mm, slightly underwhelming. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, get in the comments and let us know where you want us to go next. God bless everyone. See us, Big Daddy B, pubs and Matt on a mission to find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?